Hey, scientists, welcome back. This is lesson six, part one of the sixth grade unit, Oceans, Atmosphere, and Climate. And today's lesson is titled Patterns in Global Ocean Currents. So to help you be successful with this lesson today, you'll need two things. You'll need something to write on, something to write with, just something to you know jot your ideas as you have them you're going to have some really good ideas today and also having another person to talk to so you have your ideas you can bounce them back and forth it really helps you do the science all right let's get started the new zealand farm council asked us to help them understand the answer to this question during el nino years why is christchurch new zealand's temperature cooler than usual so we started this unit by making initial claims about why Christchurch's air temperature is cooler than usual during El Nino years. And we had an idea that it could be something about the energy from the sun or something to do with the Earth's surface, either the ocean or the land, or it could have something to do with the air, the, the atmosphere, something there might be changing. So far, we know that both the air temperature and the ocean surface temperature are cooler during El Nino years. These two graphs on this page show that happening. The orange bar shows the air temperature during El Nino years, and in the ocean temperature graph, the orange bar also shows that. And in both those graphs, we can see that the El Nino year is colder even though the amount of incoming energy from the sun stays the same. We can see that in this graph here that during a normal year and an El Nino year, it's the same amount of energy from the sun. So using what we've learned so far, we can eliminate claim one. We know that the amount of energy received from the sun is not changing during El Nino years. So far, you've learned about two things that affect Christchurch's New Zealand's air temperature. It's latitude and the ocean current that passes its shore. You also know that this ocean current comes from the equator, which is a location that receives a lot of energy from the sun. We can see these currents moving past Christchurch, New Zealand. Um, we also know that the current affects the ocean surface temperature. So something about the ocean current that passes Christchurch must change, but what? What could cause an ocean current to change? Okay, so before we can figure out what causes ocean currents to change, we first have to figure out what causes ocean currents in the first place. So let's take a moment to think about the ideas we already have. This map shows the movement pattern for major ocean currents. So what ideas do you have about what might make ocean currents move? So before we go on in our lesson, take a moment to either write down some ideas or discuss them with a partner.